Hey guys, it's Anna, and in this channel, I try to keep you inspired and entertained. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Katy Perry's new album, Smile. As you can see in the title, are you okay, baby? As you can see in the title, I'm a Swifty, a Taylor Swift fan. And you may ask me, Anna, but what does that have to do with this reaction? To be completely honest, nothing absolutely nothing people just like to perpetuate this conflict this drama between Katy Perry and Taylor Swift when actually they're friends so if you expected me to be a Katy Perry's hater I'm sorry to inform you that I'm not I also don't consider myself a fan but that's because I don't really know her entire discography but I know all of her singles and I'm in love with all of them I grew up listening to thinking of you so from that you can guess my age you don't need to guess, I'm 25. Anyway, I really like Katy Perry's songs. I just don't really know them too well to call myself a fan. But even with that, every time I go on Twitter, I see people talking about what a delicate and complicated situation her career is in right now. But I never really expanded on why. I have a guess that it has to do with her aging and maturing because I read something once about it and yeah, we all know how the music industry doesn't receive older women well and that's something we have to talk about but anyway, I don't know if that's all of it so if you want to tell me what she's going through right now what's happening in her life, in her career please tell me in the comments, I'll be happy to know I know she just gave birth to hers and Orlando's child so yeah, I'm really happy for her all of that said, let's jump into this reaction. One thing I don't really know is if Katie is writing her own lyrics in this album. I have no idea. The first song I actually know, it's never really over. So yeah, let's listen to it. And this time I'm gonna read the lyrics as well because I just never paid enough attention to it. And I'm gonna do that to all of the songs so I can understand the storytelling better. So I don't know about her personal life uh, that well. I have no idea who she dated besides Orlando. I This seems to me like a breakup song. Never paid attention to that line. I can't even go on the internet without even checking your name. So it's probably about someone famous because if, if his name is on the internet. I don't know who that song is about. Please tell me in the comments. My head still takes me back. Why did you? Takes me back. I love her high notes every time. She has such a beautiful voice. I love this woman. I love this song. I have to admit, this wasn't one of my favorite singles. I remember when it was released. I wasn't so into it. I guess the last time I was really into a single of hers was with... Not Dark Horse, no. I guess it was Chained to the Rhythm. I loved that song. And yeah, that was the last single that I was really, really addicted to. I remember not liking this one all that much i didn't dislike it as well but now looking at the lyrics and getting a little bit more insight into it it's a great breakup song <laughs> now we are going to the second song cry about it later never heard this one let's see what i think of it yes I love the beat. I love this. <sighs> okay, so this is what I'm getting so far. Um, she's She just went through a breakup and she's not willing to cry about it right now. So she went to a club or something like that. And she's just hooking up with boys and girls apparently because she's saying, you're not him, you're not her. Um, not sure if she broke up with a girl in that case 
But, but yeah, I'm getting bisexual vibes out of this. I'm, I, I get bisexual vibes out of everything. So it might just be something that I'm taking out of my own head. But yeah, she's, she's not ready to cry about this breakup yet. She wants to have fun tonight. <laughs> Oh, the bridge. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. I love that. There's an electric guitar solo. Yes. Love it. Love it. Lo oh my god, I have to pause it before the other one starts. Yes, done. Yeah, it's really clear for me that it's about a breakup. I, I wasn't, I didn't really remember that her songs had so much breakups on them. As Swifty, I have to go back and maybe analyze her albums one by one to get more of that. Please tell me if you want to see that. Okay, so that was Cry About It Later. And now we're going to number three. Terry Eyes. Really excited about this one. I miss having a sad song from from Katie. As I told you guys, I grew up listening to Thinking of You and I cried to that song every single day going to elementary school. So I really wish we had a song like that in this album. I love her and her bop sound. But I, I, yeah, I wanted something vulnerable from her as well. Let's see if we're getting that in this song. I hope so. It's apparently another bop. The beginning reminded me of Firework. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? And here is, have you ever lost the light in your life? Yeah, it reminded me of that. Yes, I have. So far, the song for me, the way I'm seeing it and understanding it, it's probably about depression. Yeah, about when you lose things and people and things you value in your life and how you deal with that. That's how I'm seeing it. Let's continue. Yeah. I love this. This is so catchy. Okay, um, the chorus is really catchy. I love the melody, I love the beat. Okay, here's what I think about this song so far. I can't wait till lockdown is over here in my country so I can go to a club full of people and dance to this song with the lights turned down and just the disco lights flashing everywhere and a drink in my hand. That's what I want. It's a great song. Bridge, bridge. That's it for me. It's a great club song. I see it as it being about depression and her advice about that, just keep on dancing with those teary eyes. It hits me so intimately because I never talked about this in this channel, but I was a dance student once and dance came into my life when I was battling with depression. I was in the depths of despair. I was not doing okay at all. And dancing really saved me in many, many, many aspects. So I know it's a club song and maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's how I interpret it. Next we have Daisies. Is this already a single? I have a feeling that I've seen this title before, but I, I don't know this song. Let me see. Oh, is it? You're out of your mind till it actually happens 
Oh, this is gonna hit so deep as well. Okay, this is so beautiful. It's about having all of those dreams and you want to succeed in life and make them come true, make your dreams come true. But you're stuck in this small town and you're just asking God, why can't it be me? Why can't I succeed the way so many people out there are succeeding? I think that's a feeling that many, many, many people relate to. I personally do a lot. And what I was saying about wanting vulnerable from her, this is it. It's not in the melody, it's still a bop, but the lyrics are so vulnerable. I'm loving this, it's my favorite so far. I have to stop this because this line right here, when did we all stop believing in magic? I don't even have the words for it. I'm a total, complete, freaky fan of fantasy and magic. And one of the things that I missed the most about my childhood was the way I felt about these stories, about fantasy stories, about magic, about, I don't know, Harry Potter, Narnia, Lord of the Rings, everything. I still love those stories. They still hit me with such a feeling of nostalgia. But when I was a kid, I looked at all of that as if those worlds existed and I could access them at any given moment. And that's a feeling that I lost as I grew up. And that hurt so much to think about that, to think about the innocence, to think about all the possibilities. There is one quote that I really love in a poem that I wrote a couple of years ago, and it says, I miss the possibility. That's it, I miss the magic, I miss the possibility, I miss the hope of life not being just this. It's my favorite song so far. It's my favorite song so far. I got chills! This is so beautiful! Yes! Yes, Katie! Yes! Oh my gosh! Please tell me she wrote that! Please tell me that the lyrics are hers! Okay, um, one question, because I don't really know how funerals go in the US, but is the, the line, until they cover me with daisies, related to, to that, to when you die and people bring flowers? Because in Brazil, people don't usually cover the bodies with flowers. We just put a bouquet of flowers on top of the coffin. But yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. So. I'm never gonna stop believing until, and I'm never gonna give up until the day I die. That's what I'm getting for this song. Such a beautiful mess, it's so powerful, so, so beautiful. My favorite out of the four I listened so far. Next we have Resilient, track number five. getting similar vibes with Daisy's. It's, it's kind of like a continuation of the story. She's talking to Daisy's about not giving up and here she's just continuing with that, say I'm resilient. I was born to be brilliant and you see me grow. You see this flower grow. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> This is a beautiful line. That right there was a beautiful line. There is no mistakes, just bends and breaks and friction. 
what is a mistake anyway my INFP showing I'm just talking deep shit here but yeah what is a mistake we're facing what we have in front of us and that sometimes brings bends and breaks and friction I love that dun 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 so beautiful okay this is really beautiful as well I won't let the concrete hold me back I interpret that as society I won't let society hold me back everything that's demanded from us and everything society expects us to do and how they want us to mold ourselves into this thing they already molded as the ideal life and the ideal person and she's saying no I won't concede to that and I won't let society hold me back. The violin is so beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yes, the violin is growing. Oh my God, I got you again. <laughs> two of my favorite songs so far <sighs> so beautiful such a beautiful message <sighs> i just love it now we have not the end of the world seems like that netflix show's title the end of the fucking world did they cancel that as well netflix cancels all the shows so i wouldn't be surprised track number six not the end of the world Oh, the drum. Okay, I have to pay attention to the lyrics. I know, I know we don't want the parallels here, but I have to do this parallel. It reminded me of I Did Something Bad of Taylor. The change of the beat and then... Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's go on. She's practically rapping in this part. I love it. <sighs> the violins again. <gasps> I cannot with the violins. I cannot. Now, now. I was wrong, but anyways, give me more Katy Perry in rapping. I need this in my life. So good. I might be completely wrong with the direction this song has taken, but I think it has to do with, again, I don't know about her personal life. I don't know if that's the problem she's facing right now in her career, but I think it might be her talking about it's not the end of the world for me, for my career, for my art, for what I do. And so throw on that fancy attire and just keep on making music. I think that might be the direction she's taking the song. Or I might be biased because again I don't want to be I don't want to be making parallels. But Taylor has the song on her new album Folklore. It's called Mirrorball and she talks exactly about that, about her insecurities of getting known and people not paying attention to her music anymore and not wanting to see from her, to hear from her. And I don't know, that might be what this song is talking about. Please let me know if there's some hidden message that I didn't get. Don't say goodbye. Don't say goodbye. That's it for me. That's how I'm choosing to interpret that song. Next, we have the title song. We got Smile, track number seven. Do I know this song? No. Up it much? <laughs> Basically, what I'm getting so far, she's thankful for all the things that went wrong and all that. 
So I hope you guys don't mind. I had to make a lighting change because my main light just ran out of battery and it's two hours until I can finish charging it again. So yeah, let's do this. So where I stopped, I was talking about Smile. I feel like Smile is Katie being thankful to all the things that went wrong in her life, to all the things God didn't allow to happen because they brought her to where she is right now. So that was worth it. <laughs> Trying to stay alive just like I'm the BJ's. I love that. Smile. Okay, so if this is the title of the album, I think it's a really important song for her. I want to know more about what she went through. It keeps coming back to my mind, the curiosity. I just want to know what happened. Now we have track eight, Champagne Problems. I'm excited for that because I think it might be, it has the potential to be one of those songs that you just put on when you're drinking and forget about everything else. Let's listen to it. That's different. Didn't expect that song. Oh, so sweet. Is it for Orlando? The beat is so different and I love it. Okay, I'm so proud of her because in the previous song, in Smile, she was saying that she went through all of that. And the previous songs as well, she was talking about depression, she was talking about all of those problems, the breakups. And now she's here and she's happy and all she has is ch champagne problems. So much progress. I'm happy for her. I have a feeling that this is about her and Orlando's relationship. I might be wrong. But yeah, it seems like it. Now they're celebrating, now they're having a baby. And, oh, I want to find that kind of love in my life as well. So sweet. It's, oh, it isn't over yet. Interesting. The high note. Yes. What is that instrument in the background? Is it a violin? It's just so old school and I love it. It could be cheesy, but she uses it in a way that is so nice. I see a storyline now. Like she's really telling the story. I don't know if it's her story, probably. It was such a sweet song. I loved that. And now we have track number nine with four songs to the end. This is Talked by Katie Garrett. Why am I expecting this to be like a name thumb in RuPaul's Drag Race in a link sync someday? <laughs> it's got the vibes for RuPaul's as well. Me when I have a crush. I just imagine things. Well, I want to dance with this entire album. <laughs> She's just like, you're my escape. So I can imagine whatever it is that I want to imagine for us because it's not real. It's just in my head. <sighs> I love that bridge. Yes, the echo in her voice. Great song, I love it. I can definitely see all the gays. Oh my god, don't begin. Oh, it's just an ad. <laughs> play, play. I can definitely see all the gays dancing to that. <laughs> in RuPaul's Drag Race, that's the image in my mind. I'm sorry. But yeah, it was a song about a crush, probably, or something um, that you feel for a person, but it's just platonic. So you can do whatever you want with them in your mind. You don't need to ask permission because 
that just exists in your mind that realm of reality that is just fiction now we got track number 10 Harley's in Hawaii definitely gives me Hawaii vibes yes oh I can see myself listening to the song when I'm on the beach just taking my drinks and yeah walking the sand just chilling in the sun that's the song for that Yes, I'm vibing to this. I'm vibing so hard to this. Really good. So good. I can just imagine her and Orlando just having a good time together, having a fun time on vacation. Now we're going to track 11. It's Only Love, the penultimate song in the album. I don't want it to end. I've been vibing. It got me, it just, it woke me up. I was kind of tired today and this album is just giving me life, so I didn't want it to end, but yeah. Oh, I love that! <gasps> yes, the voices! <laughs> yes, that, ah, that's so true. If the world was ending, if I was to die today and I knew that, I would have nothing to lose. I would say whatever I wanted to say to whoever I wanted to say it and not lose any more time, not one second. Oh, this is the emotional song, okay? This is it. I'm living for this. I have to read that verse because that verse is everything to me. I call my mother and tell her I'm sorry. I never call her back. <laughs> I live away from my mother as well. She lives in another country and she's always sending me this long, long, long voice messages. And I mean like 30 minutes voice messages. And I never answer her prob uh, prob properly. I don't know how to talk anymore. And yeah, yeah, that's that's a thing I would do as well. If I knew I would die today or tomorrow, I would call her and apologize. And then she says, I pour my heart and soul out into a letter and send it to my dad. Yes, that's exactly what I would do as well because I don't ever talk to my dad about the important things. I wasn't raised by him, with him so i don't feel that closeness but i love him so much and he loves me so much and that's what i would do as well let me leave this world with the hate behind me and take the love instead that line let me leave this world with the hate behind me and take the love instead oh my god that's so beautiful katie i cannot i, I can't with the song this is the song I was expecting for and I'm glad that it's that it's come after all of those other songs because it just fits into the timeline and, and the storyline so well. I'm in love with this. Only love is not I love the days as, as well. It's so relatable about dreams, about expectations and hopes. But only love, it's hitting me in the emotional side of me, right in the heart that I don't have. So, yeah. Ha! The high notes! Oh my god, the time I wasted Lost in my head, that's so true That's it, that's the meaning of life Only love, only love I wanna cry to it, but I also wanna vibe to it such a beautiful song, such a beautiful message. I love the message this album is giving of how superficial all of the things society dictate to us really are and what is the true meaning of everything. Your dreams, the things you love, the people you love, that's the true meaning of it all. <sighs> okay, here we go, Katie. What makes a woman? Oh, it's gonna be 
a feminist song. Give me all of that. An empowered song. Spill the tea. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What makes a woman? Is it the way that I talk? Is it the way that my skin is soft? Is it the way that I please you? Or how fast I change my mind? That's a feminist anthem right there. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's what makes a woman to her. The fact that you cannot describe them, you cannot put inside a box what makes a woman, what is a woman and what is not a woman. You cannot do that. And that is exactly what makes us women because we are just us. Each one in their individuality and their own particular traits. You cannot put us in a box. That's what makes us us. Oh, the melody as well. So fun. So good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my God. I'm so proud of her. I don't even know her history yet and I'm so proud of her. I think the most beautiful thing about this album is that I, I didn't even need to know her background. The album itself tells a story from beginning to end, from the first song to the last song. It tells the story of her life. Now I'm sad the album is over, but I'm so glad that I have 12 new songs that I can vibe to whenever I feel like it. So what do you guys think about this album? Did you enjoy it as much as I did or even more? Probably more, right? Because I, I, I don't remember how the fandom how Katy Perry's Phantom is called. It's Kit Kats, right? I guess it's Kit Kats. So Kit Kats must be crazy right now. I know the feeling, I get the feeling. I felt the same as a Swift when Taylor released her, her latest album. I'm just so happy I filmed this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you want me to maybe film a reaction to her old albums, I do know the singles, but there is a lot of songs that I never heard before. Please let me know, maybe I will. Be sure to do that. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!